Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and I work as an HR director in the Bay Area. I work in a tech Silicon Valley company. In this session today, I'm gonna to be talking about creating a great resume, especially in the space of mechanical engineering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a couple of standard templates which students can use, walk through what the templates is and what a recruiter looks for when they look at the resume and what do students prepare in advance to make sure that their resume stands out? So let me begin by sharing my video. So friends, I have two resumes in front of me. And I'll walk you through what a recruiter looks for when they look at a mechanical engineering resume and some of the tips you may want to look at as you create your own resume. I have a resume template which will be enclosed in the description box in this video. You can go to the template and create it in a similar manner. But let me walk through what a recruiter looks for in this uh, resume. Most importantly, you want to make sure that your name is right at the top. So when you're looking at this thing here called sample resume, that's where your name has got to be there. So your name should be visible right at the top. You go, your address has got to be visible below your contact details, like your a phone number, your email ID, your LinkedIn should all be present as a line, which is right below your name. So this is a standard template, which is typically used. Objective is very important because that defines what is it you're looking for? Are you looking for an internship? Are you looking for a job opportunity? So it's very important for the recruiter or the person recruiting to understand where are you coming from? Sometimes if you're in your fourth year of your undergrad program, it's not clear if you want to apply for an internship or a full-time opportunity. So it always makes it good if you can call it out in your objective. Make sure your education is listed below that. So if you are from the IITs, list it out here. Uh, if you're from a different engineering college, list it out here. Call out your university. When you're gonna graduate the, the month, the year, that's very important because again, these are things which the recruiters do not know. They need to know that you're gonna graduate very soon if they wanna absorb you for a full-time job. So they have to see a, a graduation date, which is nearby. So that's important. Most importantly, do not put things like your photograph, your sh personal details, like your, uh, your, your 10th grade marks, your things like your personal address, your full address. These are things are not required in a resume. Absolutely not. Uh, things like marital status, don't, do not even go there. These things are absolutely not required. Uh, but when it comes to standard resume, if you can stick to this format out here, this really will make your resume stand out. Make sure you mention related projects because you do not have work experience. Projects are very important. So if you've done something like um, working on cars, working in competitions, call that out here. Talk about what you did in your project and what was the accomplishment in terms of where did you end up? For example, in this list here, it says that under the mini budget project, the team was placed 42nd but it does not mention among how many people. So it's important. You don't want to be in a situation where you place 42nd out of 42 participants. That's not great. So mention how many folks were involved, what you did and what the results was. Let's now talk about experiences. So you probably should have thought about this when you did your undergrad because companies look for very specific experience you gained either as a project assistant, a teaching assistant, as an intern. These things are very important as companies try to evaluate how you'll make a good fit into the organization. So if you had some experience like a teaching assistant work or a, a personal assistant work, put it out here. You want to say that irrespective of what the work was, the biggest takeaway for a recruiter is they want to see that you are exposed to the real world. Even if you have done like work for a nonprofit, or work for a non-governmental organization. If you've done like a volunteer work, you work for the National Cadet Corps, the NCC, and if you want to call that out, put it out here. If you worked for say COVID relief on behalf of say a non-profit organization, put it out here. What you want to call out is what did you do? What were the action steps you took? What did you learn from it? 
and did you make an impact so using verbs like collaborate um, you led a project you worked with the team of x number of people you had so many cost savings you led the productivity increase of 7% 10% had cost savings of uh, 1 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees these are the things which companies are looking for when they look at a resume in terms of what did you do what was the impact likewise if you're done an internship make sure you list exactly like which company you worked in what is the duration you worked in and what is the work you did and do not forget to enclose the impact of your work for example if you did some research assistantship work or a internship work did that end in some sort of a publication did that end up in some sort of a cost savings as long as you can capture some of those cost savings or productivity increase or it could be a reduction in cycle time um, and these are the things which really companies want to see so make sure you capture that here uh, in mechanical engineering is very important to also have computer skill sets so if you can capture your computer skills and put it out that lots of make your resume stand out so this is one sample resume again there is a standard template i've attached to my description under this video you may want to look at it download the document and tweak it as necessary and following the tips i've mentioned to you out here let's also let's also look at a different resume which is of a real person and the reason i picked out the us based resumes is that i couldn't find an indian resume where somebody has done a good job with writing a resume so there are a lot of gaps when it comes to indian resumes they put up photographs they share very personal data about themselves um they say things like i am male uh this is the city i came from this is the school i studied this was the grades i got in school all these are not important companies only look for a very standard template which is here so again in this resume you can see that the name is mentioned uh, it's uh, the contact details are right at the top so that definitely makes the resume stand out it does miss a linkedin id and uh, yeah those are things which could be added to this top of the resume objective is important because companies always want to see what is it you are applying for education you want to call it out right because you don't have much else to talk about as you are a fresher and you're trying to get a job make sure you write your gpa if you feel that it's high enough but if it's a low grade point average probably there's not much meaning in writing it what this person has missed is that um, the date of graduation should typically come at the right hand side so that companies know when you're going to graduate so make sure that the timelines come right in the rightmost section under research experience this person has called out some of the work they did in terms of um, drafting design increasing engine performance and all that they mentioned engine performance increase by 8% fine so these are things which companies are really looking for what did you do what is the impact you made if you've done some student leadership efforts make sure you capture that explicitly in terms of what you did um, if you have any work experience could be internship work experience could be non profit work experience put it out there relevant courses if you have done something which you feel that makes sense from a industry perspective it could be operations research courses it could be specific computer aided design courses it could be coding classes in coursera you have taken for example where you feel that you can use that to get into say a software job make sure you put that out here so when you want to shoot for any job make sure that you go to those company websites and look at the job postings pick up the job posting which is most similar to the job you're looking for and under each job posting there is a section called skills so under skills you will see what the specific technical skill sets which the company is looking for and make sure that whatever you list as courses ties in back to the skill sets so the more you can find a connect between the skill sets required by the company and what you bring to the table the greater the chance of you being selected if you have any awards mention it out here and if you have any computer skills you may also want to mention out here so again companies basically look for any internship experience in terms of what you've done it could be even research experience but uh, make sure you mention your experience and make sure that your resume is customized in terms of what is it that the company is looking for and you can easily do that by going to the job section going to careers going to the job descriptions and looking under the skills section in the 
job description. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to write it down in the comment section below. And there is also a WhatsApp group where you can be a part of it. You can also reach out to me directly if you have any further questions through WhatsApp. And please make sure that you li like this video or subscribe to this channel because that's a good way for me to understand how these videos are being perceived by the student audience. Thanks everyone uh, and see you guys later. Bye.